like give all praise on the glory and to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Kabbadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great, thumb mm-hmm. towards your brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hope for they got there, pushing the words and truth, and in sincerity across the four winds in the name mm-hmm. of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing and get up out of here. Shalom unto the whole flake, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. And um, what we're getting into today, all right, with GMS Mississippi Camp, and we're going into, you know, just letting the spirit flow, man. It's a lot going on, you know, it's a lot of different energies, all right, that's out on the earth. And at the end of the day, you know, we're, we know that we're at the finish line of this thing, man. Everything is finished, all right? The society is done, you know, the American, you know, empire is done, you know, wickedness is peaking out, and we're at the beginning all right, of a righteous kingdom that's going to invade the earth. And it began with his wisdom, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of comfort, all right, the spirit of prophecy and the spirit of truth, man. You know? Yeah, it's going to be coming. Yeah. Yeah. This second Israel, uh, 9 and 1. Yep. He answered, he answered me then and said, measure thy time diligently in itself. Yeah, measure the time diligently within itself, you know, because that goes to pretty much the task of a watchman of a spiritual watchman, you know, to look out into the earth, see what's going on, see, I know how things, you know, are moving, all right, engage it by the scriptures, and that's how, you know, you measure the times diligent, man, because you're measuring everything according to prophecy, man. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. And when thou see parts of the signs, yep. past which I have told thee before, mm-hmm. verse 2, then should, the, then should thou understand that this is the very same time Wherein the highest will begin to visit the visit the world which he made. Yeah, so we're seeing, all right, the sign spoken of in the scriptures. That's the thing that we pay attention to, things that are spoken of in the scriptures, man. That's the most important thing. Like other parts of heart always goes into prophecy, man. Talks about, you know, prophesying. You know, the main topic of the ministry is the prophecy, man. So as we look at What's happening in the earth, man? We are, we're tying it to prophecy. All right, go ahead. Right, verse four. Then should that uh, we'll understand. Verse four. Uh, then shall thou, will, shall I, then shall thou will understand that the Most High spoke of those things which were the days that were before thee, yep. even from the beginning. Yep. So these things were spoken of from the beginning. You see, but even um, in Jude, it talks about how Enoch, you know, prophesied that Yahweh shot coming with the chariots, man. You know? So these things were spoken of in the beginning, the second coming of Yahweh shot, you know? Yahweh shot coming to conquer, all right, uh, the earth and righteousness. These things were spoken of in the beginning. Matter of fact, um, this song, me not song, get uh, Numbers 24 and 7. You see? These things were spoken for way, you know, even before the first coming of Yahweh Shai, his second coming was prophesied in the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Number 24 and 7. It's number 24 and 7. He should pour, he should pour water out of the, his buckets. His buckets. His buckets, so like, and his seed shall, she said, should be in many waters. Yeah, this speaking of the Israelite men, you know, due to us being scattered. All right, he will pour his water, all right, which is his semen, into many buckets, all right, which is these different women of the different nations. And that's where you get, you know, our people that look like the other nation, but their father's their line goes back to the Israelites, all right? But just the point here, go ahead. And his seed shall be in many waters, mm-hmm. and his king shall be, his, mm-hmm. and his king shall be higher than Agag. And his king shall be higher than Agag. So the king of Jacob, which is who? Yahweh Shai. All right, shall be higher than Agag. And Agag was what? A, the king of Amalek. All right, so who's running this current society? Amalek. Yep. They own Google. They own YouTube. They own the music industry. They own, all right, the I gold. Know. Yeah, you know. Diamond. Uh, 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 the sports team. Yeah. yeah. You know, what, a Snyder? Yeah, what? Snyder. Yeah. These, yeah. these Amalek, man. Mm-hmm. All right, they run this society, but it said his king shall be higher than Agag, all right, which is Amalek. So letting you know that's prophesying of that second coming of Yahweh Shai. 
You see, these things were talked about even before Yahweh Shai came the first time to be a sacrifice. It was spoken of about him coming to conquer, man. You see? The beginning part. Then what was, was that the last no, one? It's like the king shall, it's a kingdom shall be exalted. Yeah, and his kingdom shall be exalted. And this, you know, Yahweh Shai. All right? Matter of fact, get that in um, Isaiah 2 and 1. It says his kingdom shall be exalted, man. And that's in numbers, man. So even back then, all right, the coming of Yahweh Shai was spoken of, man. You know, and this is the, the time that we in now. We are in the time of the coming of Yahweh Shai, man. This is what everything is building up to, that second coming when he was established an eternal kingdom on the throne of David. Go ahead. Um, Isaiah 2 and 1, right? Yep. The word, of, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Yeah, go ahead. In verse 2, and it shall come to pass in the last day that the mountain of the Most High house shall be exalted in the, in the tops of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all the nations flow unto it. Yeah, so just like you read in Numbers, you know, his kingdom shall be exalted. Well, this is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. That mountain, that governing body of Israel, Mount Zion, all right, that memorial of Yahweh by Shem and the earth is going to be exalted. This is this is what we're doing. This is what we're building on, man. All right, the next ruling nation, all right, which will be the last ruling nation because we're going to be immortal, all right, and this kingdom is everlasting and will not be destroyed, as the scriptures say, you know. So the second coming of Yahweh Shai, all right, is the beginning of our rulership. You know, it's going to be eternal, and that's what everything was was always building up to, you know? Look at that in Acts uh, 1 and 8. You know? This is the mind frame that we should be in, man, the righteous kingdom to come. That's why, you know, in my job, they're talking about, you know, they might get some government contracts, you know, and, um, you know, if they get government contracts, hey, the mandates, you know, they're going to, hey, they're going to kick in. And everybody, you know, in my job will have to, you know, comply. All right? And I'm hoping they do, man. All right? Because the most I didn't bring, all right, us to this point, all right, where we can starve in America, you know, while the people that got the juice is just working and chilling, but the people that believe in your house by Shema al are starving for not complying. No, that's not going to be the case, man. Right. So when these mandates come our way, Hey, we got to take it manfully, man. You know, try to use your loopholes. If you got any loopholes you can use, all right? But, hey, when we out of options, you know, <laughs> of loopholes, it is what it is, man. You see why? Because this is what we're looking forward to. See, we need to be in this mind frame. Like, you know, read that from right. Acts 1 and 8. And it's Acts 1 and 8. Let me see it's Acts 2. Acts 1 and 8. Yep. All right. It's Acts 1 and 8. Yep. But ye shall receive power mm -hmm. after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Yep. And ye should be. No, I'll start, start at 6. Huh? Man, it's Acts 1 and 6. And it's Acts 1 and 6. And they therefore will come together to ask of him, ask of him saying, Lord, would thou at this time store the kingdom of, of it to Israel? They said, Lord, would I now at this time. This is what they're asking you. How was Shai after he was resurrected? They were like, oh, he's back. You know? So they thinking, oh, this, he, he came back. So now we finna be restored back to power. Because the Roman was ruling. Yep. You see? So he said, now would I restore the kingdom unto Israel. And that's how we should be thinking, man. When those mandates come, hey, look up and say, now would I restore the kingdom to Israel? Lord, it's time now. You know? And this is the time that we in now. Well, you how about Shema Oshai about to send you how Oshai back. All right, to conquer the earth for righteousness, man. You know? You had something for me? Uh, get that, uh, first, like first Peter. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, get that first Peter 3 and, and 12. And we got, I said, we got to have that mindset, you know, the Lord is finna restore the kingdom to his people, man, beginning, all right, with, all right, on your house, shouting the throne of David, the 144,000 that govern and body, and then, you know, the rest of the men, women, and children that's allotted for salvation. Why do you think we constantly being around each other, man, you know, we're constantly grooming each other, we're iron sharpening iron, we're constantly getting familiar with each other in the spirit, man, because the most high is dealing, man, heavy in the earth with his people because he's finna restore us back to power, 
and that's and that's uh, a beginning with your house shot. All right, his spirit entering into his men, building up that the house of David spiritually, and then he's gonna physically come establish the kingdom, man. All right, yeah. it's First Peter two and what? No, I think it's First Peter three. It might be Second Peter three and uh, um, three and start at ten. This is uh Second Peter three and ten. But chiefly them that walk that's it. Mm -hmm. Might be first Peter three. Yeah. Look at the new earth. Might be first Peter. Yeah. Uh, the second piece, three and ten. Yeah. But the day of the Most High will come as a thief in the night, mm -hmm. in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Yep. And and the elements shall 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 melt with ferment heat. Yep. So this is coming. This is talking to what the second coming of Yahweh Shai, thief in the night. Cause you gotta understand, people are consumed with their daily lives, man. No one. There's a lot of people that don't look past this society. They think this is the way it's going to be. They think technology is going to keep increasing. They think, you know, uh, they got plans for the children's colleges and, you know, plans for bigger houses and businesses. You know, this is what consumes the masses of the people. All right? So this is why this is why it's going to be like, what, a thief in the night, man. Go ahead. Right. And the earth should also, the earth also, and the worst, there are, they are therein yeah. shall be burned up. Yeah, and the works therein shall be burnt up. So, yeah, everything will be burnt up. You know, the business you just built, you know, the house you just brought, the cars you just brought, you know, all these material things, you know, that people hold dear and the works therein, all right, ain't gonna be no more uh, alphabet community after the destruction. There ain't gonna be no more Republican and Democrat. All the works of this place, all right, pan Africanism. Christianity, the Catholic Church, all these things is going to be burnt up, all right, with this destruction, man. All right, you can read about it. All right, verse 11. Yep. Seeing that there are these, seeing then that all these make these things shall be dissolved, yep. which, which, what manner of person ought you to be? Seeing these things going to be dissolved, seeing that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is wrapping this thing up. What mindset should we be in, man? You know? What mind frame should we be in understanding that this thing is about to be wrapped up, man? All right? And that's why Yahweh Bashim al is, is is pushing the spirit of pretty much, man, keeping the thing simple, man, because this place is done. That's why it's such a, a, a heavy push in the spirit of having faith, man, just knowing that he is, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because we're coming to a time where we're going to be completely dependent on him. You know? So, we should, what, what manner of person should we be? We should be a, a, a manner of person that's fully trusting to our power, man. You know, understand that these things are going to be dissolved. Another thing, stop, you know, we got to stop taking things so serious that don't matter, man. You know? Giving attention to things that don't matter like that, man. It's not a big deal. You know? These things are finna be dissolved, man. Places, people, <laughs> everything finna be dissolved, man. Go ahead. Uh, and, and, it's it. And, and all holy conversation and godliness. Verse 12. Yep. Looking, looking, looking for and hasten until the coming of, of, of the day of Yahweh Shah. Until the coming of the day of Yahweh Shah. You see? That, that's what it all boils down to. The coming of our king. All right, his king shall be greater than Agag, and his kingdom exalted. You see, it's all about the second coming. You see, looking forward to the day of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. All right. To look to the day of, of Yahweh Shai, for the heaven being on fire yep. shall be dissolved, yep. and the elements shall melt with firm and heat. Go ahead. Verse 13. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, or when the witch 
Dwell in righteousness. We accord to his promise. Because when you read this, the, the Bible is full of promises. All right? When the scriptures say his king shall be above Agag, which is Yahweh Shai, that's a promise. The Most High is promising that the king of Jacob, which is Yahweh Shai, is going to be above, all right, this current rulership. That's a promise. All right? So we accord to his promise. We look forward to a new heaven and a new earth, man. The Bible is full of promises to the children of Israel that we're awaiting to see fulfilled, man. All right? So that's the mind frame we should be in, waiting to see these promises fulfilled in the earth, man. Uh, get that in uh, Psalm 27 and uh, I think it's 13. Yep, 27 and 13. You know, we should be ecstatic about seeing these promises play out in the earth, man. We're ready to see a righteous rulership. It's to the point now we get it. We get why wickedness, all right, can't exist. We, we get why, you know, you can't live after the flesh. You can't live after the lust. We get, you know, balancing. You know, we understand these things now. We, you know, men, we understand our purpose. We understand the purpose of women. All right? We under, we're understanding these things now. Now we want to see a, a, a society that, that's enforced with righteousness, man. And that's going to be through your house shot. Go ahead. Right, Psalm 27. <clears throat> yep. And 13. I have fainted. Yep. Unless I have believed to see the goodness. Yep. Of the Most High in the land of the living. Hey, he said, I have fainted unless I believe, all right, to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. He had fainted because this is a, this is the only hope that's keeping us going, man. The hope in these promises, man. All right? The hope in these promises, man. He, they, <laughs> David said, I have fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's on earth, man. You see that? And that's the only hope that God does going. What's that? Um, in Zechariah nine and twelve. Zechariah nine and twelve. You know, <laughs> I can't wait to see the goodness of Yahweh by Shema Osha in the land of the living, man. You know, to see brothers rewarded, man. To see women back in order and, and, and enjoying, you know, their order. All right, our our nation having abundance, man. You know. No, no brother, nobody starving. Yeah. Nobody poor, nobody. Uh, nobody just, covetous over yeah. you, you know. Want what you got. Yeah. You know, backbiting, gospel. That's going to be no more, man. All right? We're going to be a completely righteous nation. Like Scripture said, all thy people shall be righteous, man. That's a promise. You see? We accord to his promise. When you say we accord to his promise, all right, that's a lot that's entailed in that, man. We have a lot of promises coming, man. You see? Go ahead. Right, um, did, uh, Zechariah 9 and uh, 12. Yep. Turn you to the turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoner of hope. Turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope, man, because we're a prisoner to this hope of the promises, man, of Yahweh by Shema al -Shai. We're locked in. <laughs> you see? Hey, we're locked because a prisoner is what? He's locked in. A prisoner can't get outside this cell. All right? Unless someone gets them out. You know? So when it comes to hope, we're locked into this, man. Uh, the hope of the promises, man. You see? You got to go. And I would render, you know, so even the day, even the day you are declared that, I would render dub unto thee. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you had something? Yeah, I had uh, this uh, Psalms, uh, not Psalms, Revelation 21. Three and, three and uh, four. Yeah. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he would dwell with them, and that should be his people. Yep, the tabernacle of the Most High was men. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why he raised up the men, all right, in these leadership positions, men amongst the governing body. You know, that's why you have amongst the, you know, the, the hopeful elect, the house of David, start with the apostle and elder GMS. What do you see, man? You see the men in these positions of authority and the leadership. Why? Because the Most High is dealing with the men of Israel, and you have, you know, those women who are humbling themselves down under those men, you know? But you see what, man? The men being put in order so the women, women can have an order to be under, you know? And then eventually, Yahushua is going to show up, man, and, you know, he's going to conquer and set up 
the righteous kingdom, man. You know, mm -hmm. where we can dwell in. You know, go ahead. I say, and dwell with them, and that should be his people. Yep. The most high himself should be with them yep. and their power. Yeah, the most high gonna be with his people, man. Mm -hmm. He's gonna dwell within his men on a whole nother level, man. Like those new bodies, like see, we have a portion of the spirit now, but in those new bodies, we're gonna have such a potent portion of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al within us, man. You know, we're that we're that new tabernacle, man. You see? And we're gonna have a heavy portion of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah within those new bodies as we govern the earth and righteousness, man. With Yahweh Shah having the biggest portion, man. You see? Go ahead. You know, this point too, you know, yep. you know our people. Yep. That might be uh struggling no more, you know. Yep, right. Like this is Revelation twenty one four. Mm -hmm. And the most I should wipe away all tears from their eyes. Yep. There should be no more, more death, mm -hmm. neither sorrow, like you're saying, yep. no crying, yep. neither should there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Yeah, so those things are going to be some of the past, man. Nigga culture, street culture, all right? You know, drill, you know, drill music and all this crazy shit. You know, all these things that our people was on that brought us so much sorrow mm -hmm. is going to be taken away, man. You know? Forever in righteousness, man. All, you know, our whole existence is going to be about forging the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim al Shah in the earth, man. You know, every time, because Eli said, yeah, we're going to get to enjoy sex in the kingdom, but what's going to be the, the outcome of sex, man? Either you're going to bring forth another righteous ruler, you know, or you're going to bring, all right, a, a, a wife of a righteous ruler. That's all we're going to be producing. All we're going to produce is righteous rulers. And why are the righteous rule? That's all we're going to produce amongst Israel. You ain't going to have, you know, niggas being produced. You know, nigga want to do his own thing. Yeah. You know, he want to hang with Moab. You know, no, man. Every, everything that we produce is going to be high born and of nobility. And that they're going to forge Yahweh by Shema will shine in the earth. All right? It might get to the point where you're, you have sons that's ruling on a whole other planet. But guess what injury they're going to come in? Yeah, how about she my old shot? What standard are they going to govern, all right, their kingdom by? The standard of the scriptures, man. You see? So the Israelite uh, 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 man is going to just continue to forge the how about she my old shot and their righteousness throughout all existence, man. You see? This is a very heavy thing that we're a part of, man. And this is, this is just the beginning. That's a lesson within itself. Yeah. You know, brothers. Put that in the comment board, Lord Will, so I won't forget it. You know, this is just the beginning, though, man. All right? Of what we come to, like, destruct, the destruction of Esau, Edom, like, it's just going to be a, like, you know, a day. You know, what's like, America going to be destroyed in an hour? An hour. You know, what's an hour compared to eternity? Mm -hmm. You know? So, th this destruction, this is just the beginning. It's just, a, you know, we, we finna get it popping, man. <laughs> you see? As a nation, man. Yeah, because, you know, it ain't, ain't going to be no more. Nigga trying to slide on you. Ain't we no more baby. Yeah. Baby dad, she got three fucking baby daddies yeah, and no, three no, different no. kids. Ain't gonna no, be no more of that, man. Shit. It, 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 that shit gonna be out the window. It's complicated. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, that shit. yeah it's complicated. <laughs> so, ain't gonna yeah. be no more. Ain't gonna be more. No more than that. I gotta quit it, bro. You got it. Uh, this Proverbs 29 and uh, 2. And the righteous are in authority. The people rejoice. Yep. But when the, when, but when the wicked. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Yeah, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. See, now it's a state of mourning. You have all these protests. You have all these people resigning because of these mandates, man. We're not going to be, all right, on this silly ass shit Esau on, man. All right? Putting, putting, uh, uh, juice in people. All right? Putting, uh, putting, uh, 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 uh chemtrail, putting mm -hmm. chemicals in the food that cause cancer. We're not going to be doing none of this silly shit Esau doing, man. All right, people are gonna rejoice. Yeah. It's gonna be, you know, a thousand years of rigorous captivity because we have to enforce righteousness in a very harsh way, man. Because these people, all right, have been under the the uh, uh, vibration, all right, of the serpent Esau Edom, you know, for over five hundred years, man. So that has to be beat out of them, man. That has to be worked out of them, you know. And eventually, they're gonna see the benefits. It's gonna make more sense. Yeah. The other nation will be like, damn, this is a much better way. All right? Yeah. You know, we ain't going to be doing airstrikes, you know, lying about the leaders of the other nation and then demonizing them and then going over there doing airstrikes and all that old crazy shit. No, man. You know? And, 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 and we ain't going to be going everyone just 
taking people shit like like yeah. this all do and, and, and lying and lying about it's it. It's gonna be an order. They're gonna pay tribute. That's right. You know, but it, the earth gonna be producing so much that they still gonna be able to have you know their substance and That's enjoy right. the earth. That's right. You know, the earth's gonna be the medicine again. Mm-hmm. All right, and we ain't got no pharmaceutical industry in the kingdom. You know. That's made to keep you doped up, man. That yeah. damn zombie, man. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. All this crazy, you know, your, your your son, you know, a five-year-old can make up if his mind that he want to be a girl. Here it is, you put your son on the bus at 7 o'clock in the morning. You Here it is, he can't even pick out what he want to wear in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But then yeah. he come home and decide he want to be, all right, a woman, man. That's, that's, that's madness, man. That's madness. And think about it, and they forcing it. Yeah. And and, and they forcing that shit on them kids, man. And you know, and we we, we want we want to go outside and play some fucking video games. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Like we never, man. No cartoons, not, some shit. Cartoons. And then they put the shit in the cartoons. Mm, yeah. You see, guys, no, this not gonna be so in the kingdom, man. Yeah. All right, you're, you you know, people gonna go back to their purpose, man. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking yeah. woman. You living, you living on the hell. You going on? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> ain't no what's the name? Wayne Wade, little oh, his, his his son. He, he ain't never been with a fucking woman. Like 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 Boosie saying, like Boosie saying, he, he ain't never been with a woman. So yeah. how can you say you don't like women? You never been with a woman. That, that, that's it's a shit that push on 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 the kids, man. This this kingdom. Yeah, on this kingdom. That's mm-hmm. what it is. The, 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 it's because you know what. The ruler, it's the ruler fault. Mm-hmm. That and that's the problem. I'm, I'm gonna go to uh, Job nine twenty four. Yep. Yeah. They kind of be some hell down, no hell going on. Cause when you even when you go into Solomon, see why you think those? What you think Queen she was? You know when she came to see Solomon, what she was coming to do, man? She wanted to hear that wisdom on on how his kingdom is running so efficiently, man. All right, you gotta think about it. If me and this brother both selling t-shirts, all right, I'm in Atlanta, you know, he's in New York. Well, his t-shirt business is booming. You know, he's making five million dollars a year selling t-shirts. I'm making, all right, seventy-five thousand dollars a year. Well, what I'm gonna do? We network on, you know, social mm-hmm. media. What I'm gonna mm-hmm. do? I'm gonna come see that brother. You know, and he gonna put me on game on right. what little tweaks I need to make to increase my business. That's, right. That's what Queen Sheba was coming to do. That's why she brought all that, you know, that substance, that tribute, you know, that was a, a, a form of servitude too. You know, when you bring tribute to someone, that shows that you know you're under them. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want no smoke. I I, I reverence you as being higher than me, so mm-hmm. they you know you bring tribute. Mm-hmm. You see, but. She was coming to get the game on how he's running his kingdom, you know, so she can take it back to her kingdom and 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 and, and run it. And that's what all the kings of the earth was doing. They was coming to Solomon to get game on what he's doing to have his kingdom so efficient, man. Mm-hmm. That's how it's going to be again under your house shot. After these heathens are, 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 you know, after their rigorous captivity, they're going to be allowed to own land because that thousand years. Just like when we was in slavery, we can't own no land. We couldn't have possessions. No, we just had to work. We were in possession. Yep. And that's how these heathens going to be. And they still going to be in servitude for us eternally. All right? So it ain't going to be that rigorous, hardcore captivity after mm-hmm. the thousand years and Esau was done away with. All right? And they're, gonna have, they're not going to have eternal life. They're not going to have nowhere near the substance that we have, you know, the access that we got. You no, know, we we're going to have spiritual power. We're going to wait a whole nother level, all right? But these heathens, these other nations will, all right, get to enjoy a righteous rulership, and they're going to have their own thing going on under our standard. You see? Yeah. You know, because they ain't going to be, you know, how Esau do them. Hey, he, he, that's something. That's something. Just, he just ain't right, man. Yeah, Esau coming with the hell. <laughs> He like, like that. He like Finn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he don't, he, he's all don't care, man. Yeah, he don't damn. Like everybody, everybody's in 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 uh in in chaos. They were. Everything, everything is is, is out of whack. Everything is is not. It's just it's just not right. And you can see, 
you know, we not and, and we not making this shit up ourselves. Yeah. Hey, look at the news. Go look at the news. Don't take it from us. Hey, go look, go go look at the news. Huh? All the uproars mm-hmm. everywhere because you got this fucking devil in charge. That's the problem. All right, bro. This is not the joke. That's the jingle. It's Job nine and twenty four. The earth is in the earth is in the hand of the hand of the wicked. Mm-hmm. It covers the faces of the judge thereof. Yep. If not worth who who he is. If not worth who, who is it? He saw evil. Mm-hmm. The earth was given into his hand, and what the earth was in mourning. But when the earth was given back into our hand through your house shot, yep. all right, it's, it's gonna be a rejoicing. And uh, we can end it with um, Isaiah. Get back in Isaiah two. Read two through four. Yeah. We'll end there, man. Because that's what this thing is all about, man. The second coming of our shot, man. That should be uh, that 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 should dominate our thinking, man. The second coming of our shot, man. And want and doing what we need to do to be a part of it, man. You know, we should want nothing more than to be a part of this kingdom that's being established in the earth and righteousness, man. Okay, okay. No, cause the problem back then they wanted yeah, they one right there now. They're waiting it's, for it. Hey, Ezra was like, look, you know, we we the chosen people, and yeah. we, you know, under these heathen, like, yeah. you know, what's good? Hey, you, you know, know? And that's how I, how I feel. Don't y'all know, like, I mean, hey, we, we put all these motherfuckers, but, but, but we know, I know, you know, we got we to gotta wait on your high bunch of shot. Mm-hmm. We can't do it ourselves, so we, we got to wait. Back then, they won, it was just one, it just one time. Yep. It's, it's all it was, it, it won, it won time for it. It's soon. It's close. It's close than it, we believe. I said, I said, two. We started two. We started making two. Mm. Yeah, started two. Yep. Right. And she comes to pass in the last day that the mountain of Mosai House should be established in the in the tops of the mountains, and should be exalted above the hills, and all nations flow unto it. Yeah, all nations shall flow unto it. You see, and with Solomon rulership was a prelude, all right, of what will be happening in the kingdom. All nations, all right, flow to Solomon. All nations are going to flow to your house, shot and that governing body of Israel, man. And why are they going to come for you? And, and verse 3, and many, many people shall, shall come and come and go. Come ye and let, let us go to the mountain of the Most High. Yep. To the house of the Most High of Jacob. Yep. Power slot to the house of power of Jacob. Mm-hmm. He would teach us his ways. He would teach us his Ooh. ways. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. And we will walk in his path. And we will walk in his path. See, it's going to be a righteous vibration ruling the earth. All right? Adultery you not going to be cute in the kingdom. Yeah. Being a thought not going to be cute in the kingdom. Yeah, fruity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that ain't, 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 ain't going to have it all. The judgment for that going to be mm-hmm. so harsh. Yeah. You know? You might, you know, we, we find that out that you allowed that to go on, man. All right? Then, that's when the wrath comes. Because you're going to have these nations still being simple. Yeah. They're going to be doing, you know, they're going to do some things because the law, statute, and commandments are going to be within them. You know? So you're going to have nations, you know, doing simple things. And, you know, they're going to have to be judged, man. But but, but that, that, but that they're going to be judged so harshly. Click. <laughs> the alphabet behavior. Click. That's going to get judged so harshly, man. You know, go ahead. That's right, bro. And so we, we, and we will walk in his path. Yep. For out of Zion should we go, f- go forth the law. Yep. And the word of the Most High from Jerusalem. And the out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word, you know, from Jerusalem, man, which means what? It's going to be a righteous vibration, you know, that's going to rule the earth and that's going to, that's going to um, come from your house, shout on the throne of David, King David himself, you know, and the men, all right. The governor by the 144,000 under them, you know, they're all going to be what enforcing the same righteous standard throughout the whole earth, man. Because every brother's going to be over particular realms of the earth, man. You yeah, know, you know, but that that that, that uh, video scene years years ago, on the scene when that the lady in uh, Jerusalem, she like, we've been, we've been lied to you, black people, you've been stolen, blah blah. Mm-hmm. You remember know, that video? Mm-hmm. And she said, she's like, we went out, come back. She know we come back, they gonna they gonna uh, be good. Yeah. If we come back to set, come back to put Lord come back to put everything back on, on his foot. In righteous order. In righteous order. And hell, and she, she, she she like she she, she ready to come back. Cause guess what? We come back in power. They gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Let's 
know what I'm saying? But you got you got to serve him a thousand years. Yeah. After that, hey, you good. Y'all good. All right, verse four. He should judge, and he should judge among the nation. Yeah. He should rebuke many people. Yeah. And they should beat they should beat their beat their sword into plowshares. Yeah. And their spirits is print print printing print, print, print. So, so it's gonna go from because everyone now is is pretty much gearing up for war. That's right. But after the war, they're gonna gear up for servitude. Because you read in Joel, it speaks about how they turn their pruning hooks into swords, which means what? They're preparing for war. All right? But post war, they're going to prepare for servitude. Go ahead. And, and nothing. And that's how you know when people in, you know, in the land are not the lost people. Because when, when, when you see come back, we read when you have a shot to come back. You read, we read to you right now. When the lost people in the land. Look, that's not going on. So guess what, like bro said, that they they they, they making motherfucking bones right now. Everybody making bones. Yeah, everybody. Everybody doing it. So what's that? Is? This, 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 it's not happening. On people in the land, you're not the people. You're not the people. So so you so so that's a that's a and that's one of the biggest lies they ever been told. That lie, man. Come on. All right, bro. All right. Nation should not be lifted up. Swords against against the nation. Yep. Neither should neither should they learn. War anymore. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. That's All right, it. no more, no more wars between nations, man. All right, why? Because we're gonna govern the affairs. Let's say Elon got a problem, you know, with uh Moab. Well, who, who, whatever brother, you know, is over there around. Guess what? They ain't gonna have to come to him, and he's gonna send forth a righteous judgment. He's gonna hear what Moab is saying. We're gonna hear what Elon is saying. All right, the leaders of, of Moab and Elon they gonna come to the brother that's over there around. Mm -hmm. The brother gonna hear. All right, the uh, dispute, all right, and the brother is going to give judgment, and that's going to be the final say so. All right, there ain't going to be no disagreements that's going to lead to wars <laughs> between yeah. the other nations, man. All right, about the bomb, will you? Yeah, because they, they're talking about uh, that, that chat is what's on Ta Taiwan, it's Taiwan, they're trying to talk Taiwan right now. Yeah, 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 Taiwan, China. yeah, oh, oh, Taiwan, <laughs> <laughs> they fighting over there right now, yeah, yeah. so. Like it gonna be easy. Like yeah. the brother going the brother who in charge, he gonna make he gonna make decision. He gonna make a right to judge. And that's Cause, it. Cause that war vibration ain't gonna be in the spirit. Yeah. You see, that that, that, that war vibration not gonna be in the earth. No that's more. right. Otherwise, they're not even gonna have you know these standing armies. You see, they're not gonna they're not gonna need those. No, Israel is gonna have the we're gonna have the power to enforce all right righteousness and also make these judgments. And make these judgments stand. We're gonna judge right because we're gonna have the wisdom. Like Solomon, what do you pray for? The wisdom to judge, all right, the people. Yeah. All right. First beginning with Israel, but then we're gonna have to um, make decisions based on, you know, the other nations. It might be things that all right, work work his way up, you know, to where a brother is over there around have to deal with. Now a lot of things it's gonna be leaders set up over these other nations where they're gonna know, all right, well, they're going to judge according to our standards. So there's a lot of yeah. things we're not going to have to deal with. they already going to know what to do and how to judge. But it might be certain things that work its way up to the top. Yeah. All right? To the Israelite, you know, the brother that's over there around, you know, the brother's going to solve the matter, man, you know, with wisdom. Yeah. You see? All right? And if they get simple and don't come to the feet, then, hey, we're going to come see about it. Yeah. All right? <laughs> we're going to like yeah, come see you know, about it. Like I say, we're going to have to tighten you up. All right, but uh, that was the point. Yeah, you know I mean? hey, with that, you know, we pray that you brothers, all right, you few sisters were edified once again. We we'll give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, rule well, teach well, being great examples to each other, brothers, and peace and blessings. I say to the whole collective, the next time, stay shalom. Shalom, 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 shalom,